Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Money here. How you guys all doing? Hope you all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I just want to talk about Ethereum and I've been noticing the Ethereum network hash rate that it has been dropping. Have some of you guys been noticing that as well? And so I'm going to be correlating this with profitability, also the price of Ethereum and just a bunch of other things regarding why the Ethereum network hash rate has been falling, okay? So I would love to get your guys' perspective down below as well. So here, I'm just gonna give you guys my opinion, and so any, none of this stuff is financial advice, but I'm just correlating some things, and uh, let me know if you guys agree or disagree. All right, so let's begin first. So what I've been noticing, obviously, is from, I would say May, I would say the second or third week in May, when the Ethereum network hash rate was, I think at the peak of like, actually, if we zoom in here, the peak here, May 20th, 643 terahash, all right? That was the highest point Ethereum network hash rate was, all right? Now, as of recording, it's about 576, or actually, if we go to uh, mining pool stats, we can see exactly 562 terahash, okay? So that's what the Ethereum network hash rate is right now. So that's, yeah, that's quite a big drop, actually, from pretty much, I would say, another 70 or 80 terahash has dropped the, since the peak of May 20th of 2021. And so during that time, May 20th, the price of Ethereum, let's just zoom in here. Okay. So the highest peak of Ethereum price was roughly about $41, $4,200 on May 10th. All right. So I'm assuming that's when, yeah, a lot of people were like, oh my God, Ethereum is like over 4K. Everyone's mining Ethereum, all that kind of stuff. And then slowly Ethereum started going down in price. All right, so if we go to May 20th, the same time the Ethereum network hash rate was that really high, was then pretty much within a week, the Ethereum price went down by half, okay, down to $2,400 USD. Well, as of recording now, Ethereum is about 2600 okay, so, but yeah, take a look at that. Look at how volatile Ethereum has been in the month of May, all right? So that pretty much really correlates to the network hash rate that uh, a lot of people, I guess, people who don't fully understand mining or just only look at the fiat number and profitability probably are selling their GPUs, which I will be talking about here in a second, guys, regarding GPU pricing. But looking at, you know, the hash rate and the price of Ethereum, it, it, it has been dropping, right? This this correlates to, in my opinion, uh, when the price drops and that that's when people, you know, certain miners that are disinterested and they're just turning off their rigs or or they are moving to other coins, which I will talk about in a sec here. So let's move along here. I also want to talk about just a little bit about profitability. I don't know if some of you guys have been noticing, but the block rewards, including MEV, including the, you know, the transaction fees that uh, the block rewards have not been, you know, that good recently. It's It's been hovering around between 2 to 2.2, 2.3 Ethereum per block averaging, I would say. Normally, I would say in the past half year, we've been seeing, you know, 3, 5, 8. We've seen really huge spikes in terms of the block rewards. And during those times, you guys know, that means whatever block reward is happening... On Ethereum at that time and when the market is really volatile is when the block rewards are really high because whether or not uh, you know DeFi or wh whoever is transacting on the Ethereum blockchain it boosts the gas fees really high and so when you're seeing you know really high profitability that's because the block rewards are super high okay so like maybe 8 Ethereum per block or 10 or 15 that we've seen sometimes I saw like a hundred and thirty Ethereum block that uh, Ethermine won, I think it was like a month or two ago. That, that was insane. So yeah, right now it's pretty much averaging around 2 to 2.3, okay? And then you guys can see on the blue column here, MEV reward as well, okay? So you guys know Ethereum EIP-1559 is coming in less than, I think, another month and a half. And so when that comes, then that means we will not be getting the, the transaction fees. The miners will not be rewarded. Whatever's happening in terms of gas, then that will no longer be going to the miners. Okay, so we will only get the initial two Ethereum per block. All right, just to say the initial Ethereum per block is two Ethereum per block. All right, and then there's going to be MEV as well. So we're not quite sure. You know, MEV is, you know, it ranges all the time. It, it's it's all over the place. So we don't really know how much more it's going to be. But in my opinion, what we are seeing right now in terms of the block rewards is, is pretty close 
into what we're going to see come EIP 1559. Some of, some people may disagree. Uh, we will probably get a little bit less, but when that time comes, we're not really sure how the MAV rewards are going to be come EIP 1559. And uh, I'm not sure if Minor Tip is also going to be in there as well. That I'm still learning about, but we'll see come, you know, in about a month and a half. Okay, so profitability in terms of the block rewards and stuff, it may be less, right? But who knows? Who knows? We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, going along, guys. Now, going along, just correlating to the downtrend of Ethereum network hash rate is potentially some people selling their graphic cards, okay? I've actually been seeing a lot of graphic cards being sold recently, and I would say that is that is definitely correlating to people just getting scared or just they're wanting to get out of mining or maybe their electrical cost is too high dependent on the profitability and, you know, how much they're making versus their electrical bill, right? So I did a live stream on May 23rd of 2021 and during this live stream near the end, I said to myself, or just said to you guys as well, that I would just see what the price of the GPUs would be in the next couple of weeks. And so during that time, May 23rd, that is when, you know, Ethereum went down to about 2600 or 2400 or something. And so then the prices of an RTX 3080, like recently sold on eBay, was about 25 to $2,200. Now... If we're looking at eBay recently sold, they're being sold for about 2000 1900 I see a 2300 one here, 2200 1800 So it is a little bit lower in my opinion. I haven't seen like a $2,500 3080. So it seems like, you know, these scalped prices have been coming down a little bit, maybe a couple hundred dollars. But yeah, definitely it's because I would say of what we had the drop in Ethereum price and also the network hash rate, you know, a lot that, that's a lot of terahash to be turning off. Another thing though, I okay, so now we're going to move on from GPU talk here. I want to now correlate with the ASIC miners, all right? So obviously this is a lot of terahash to be going down from 643 to uh, 576, right? So there has been some rumors and I haven't confirmed it with anybody. Crypto Miner Bros said there is no ETA on the Yant Miner E9 or A11. They haven't heard anything yet. According to ASIC Miner Value, they say this A11 is coming July of 2021. So I wonder if right now or recently these A11s are now being turned off, right? And a silicon is, you know, they're stopping their pre-mine of their ASICs and then now they are packing them up and getting ready to sell them to people that don't understand potentially in the next six months or in the next nine months that Ethereum could move to proof of stake, all right? Ethereum merge, which hopefully you guys have seen my video about that earlier in the in the past week. But anyways, the Inosilicon A11 and E9, right? These two are huge ASIC miners. And of course, there's other ASIC miners out there, uh, A10 Pro 750 mega hash, uh, A10 Pro 500 mega hash. You know, these Ethereum ASIC miners are very prevalent in today's in today's market right and so i would say a lot of this hash rate could also be correlating to why we've also been seeing a downturn in network hash rate right so i wonder if these are slowly now being packed up to be sold to maybe potential pre-orders probably people who already pre-ordered the e9 or a11 that maybe shipping out in the next month or so right who knows so that's one correlation that i'm correlating the network hash rate drop to and uh, let me know what you guys think about that okay going along guys not only that okay not just why the ethereum network hash rate could be dropping is also because of profitability of other coins okay so let's just take an rtx 3080 for example just just a theoretical thing here so ethereum right as of right now as a recording is the most profitable coin but if we look at just down the charts here a little bit equilibria well this is a new one there's a couple of new coins here other coins that are also profitable as well so one that i really wanted to correlate with recently is ergo okay a lot of people have been talking about ergo and yeah you can see here i'm on the ergo explorer and we're looking at the network hash rate right now so the network hash rate for ergo has definitely been going up since uh Let's see here, June, May, around May. Yeah, May of 2021. All right, so look at that. Look at the meteoric rise from, I think, uh, I don't know how much terahash this is. This is in petahashes. But anyways, right now, the network hash rate for Ergo is 19.25 terahash. 
as of recording. Okay, so definitely quite high. There's definitely a lot of people mining Ergo right now. I'm also mining Ergo, but only on one rig. Uh, for me, I'm all in on Ethereum and Zill. Link down below, guys. Dual mining Ethereum Zill. If, if you guys want to mine on eZill, there's a couple how-tos on their website as well as a how-to on HiveOS. I will have a video about how to dual mine Ethereum and Zill. It's very, very easy. But yeah, going along, guys. Ergo, it seems like this coin, you know, the algorithm is Auto Lycos, and basically this algorithm is is ASIC resistant, okay, apparently, all right, so miners have to perform memory hard computations, at least 2.5 gigabytes of memory is needed uh, to utilize, uh, to, to mine on Ergo, all right, so you can mine them on four gigabyte cards even, which is pretty awesome, right? Okay, so anyways, guys, yeah, I'm correlating with that, just, you know, there's a bunch of other algorithms out there that other people are potentially moving to, and so that is why also, uh, with the other things that I said earlier, that's why the network hash rate has been dropping, okay, not only because of the price, but because of potentially ASIC miners, and also miners who, you know, are maybe FOMOing out of GPU mining, and they're selling their GPUs now for a little bit less than they were maybe a couple weeks ago, all right? And uh, yeah, Ravencoin could be a potential another one, but it's definitely Ravencoin has been dropping in network hash rate and also dropping in price as well, actually. So actually, if we go to Ravencoin, it also pretty much correlates to the charts here. Um, let's go max. And yeah, look at that. That uh, back in February, you know, Ravencoin went up from one cent to 20 cents. And then it went started going down in about uh, the end of April, and now we're we're in uh, June, okay. And now price of Ethereum is about seven cents, okay. Uh, but pretty reminiscent here of this, you know, high network hash rate of almost twelve terahash, right, for Ravencoin, and now it's hovering around four point eight uh, terahash on two miners here, okay. So. Anyways, guys, yeah, that is uh, just a few things, I guess, I, our main huge things that are correlating to why the network hash rate for Ethereum has been dropping now, but profitability, it's still very good, right? I don't know why, again, dependent on people's electrical cost. I know some people in Germany have 30, some people in California have 20 cents per kilowatt hour, which which is definitely brutal. If we just, for example here, you know, 30 cents per kilowatt hour on a 580, you're, you're pretty much paying half of your, your profits to uh, your electric bill. So that's, that's, that's pretty rough, but I mean, a dollar a day, you're still good, right? If you're selling every day, that is, but you guys know my strategy. I'm not selling. I, I'm mining for the long haul and profitability for me right now. It's just, it just doesn't matter, right? The most important thing is to yield as many coins as you can and just hodl, right? For the long term, you know, understand the big picture of crypto, basically any, everything of investing, right? So yeah, guys, anyways, that's, yeah, that's all I'm wanting to talk about today. Please let me know your thoughts regarding just anything you guys have noticed regarding Ethereum, regarding profitability, regarding GPUs, whatever, anything, ASIC miners, anything that you guys have heard, please let me know down in the comments. And I know you guys definitely read the comments uh, as do I. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And oh, I, just, I should have mentioned this in the beginning but please beware of scam comments and uh, I would never reply with you know whatsapp or anything like that okay I don't have a whatsapp I don't have telegram I would never message you or anything so please do not message those scam comments or reply just ignore them I'm doing my best to remove them okay my friends thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out